Hello guys, welcome into the ninth episode of the Volcano series. It's been a long time since I've started building this volcano, and um, surprisingly amazing how far have we gotten. I can't put my finger on it, and I always question myself, how in the world did we get here? And it's all by saying courage, perseverance, and hard work. And I just stuck to it and never stopped building the volcano until I was finished. And that's why I'm here to present to you the volcano and what it has to offer. So without further ado, let's get into the video. It took 468 hours of my time to place every single block of this magnificent volcano. And I am here to show you it. Not only that, but a few other significant builds I've built on the server. And of the following, here they are. There is the entrance to my base inside the volcano at the back, and of which it is opposite of another of the buildings that I've built, the waiting balcony. Not only that, there is a naturally spawned pillager camp, pillager post, whatever you want to call it. And then there is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, the world spawn. And this is where you will spawn in whenever you're, you join to the server as a new player. Those are the things of the server. That's at the end of this section. Let's get into the explaining part of what you have to do to get into the server event for the 22nd. Guys, so basically, in order to cooperate and rather join in on the volcanic eruption event, you will have to definitely be on 1.19.4. Any other version won't work for this Atreno server because it's set to 1.19.4. And if you get on on a different version, it won't work. You won't be able to join. I'm going to have to whitelist you. You could always comment on this video and put in your IGN if you want to join. Also, you're gonna have to join the Discord, which will also be in the description, and then therefore you can join the event, and then I could get contact with you on Discord, and you could tell me your IGN. Also, there's a group chat which you can join, which basically has all of the members of this server, sort of, like anyone who's going to join the event. Also. Try your best to be on Lunar, it doesn't really matter. You can get on whatever you want. So after you join the event, there's going to be a thing saying how many contestants there are. And um, there's going to be four chosen to um, basically try to survive the volcano. There's going to be a few trials, basically. Before we get into that, you're going to have to follow me down to the entrance of the cave, the back way. And then there will be a section where people, you guys, will have to fight any contestants who will join, who will cooperate. They will have to fight each other to win the opportunity to try to survive from this volcano. Once there are the four winners, so basically there's gonna be four pairs of people. That means we're gonna have to have at least eight contestants for watching and for trying to survive. The four that win the fight against the others, those four are going to be the chosen ones to try to survive from the volcano eruption, guys. Believe me, it's going to be almost impossible to survive from this, unless you escape the map or something. But trust me, you won't be able to. And do not have Fulbright off. If you have full bright off, it may be hard to see. You can always hold a torch in your hand to see where you're going. Through the tunnel, obviously. But there will be a tunnel. The four who will be chosen are going to be placed um, right below here in the wait for instructions. They'll be set into adventure mode. You're not supposed to try to survive by collecting resources. You're only supposed to be trying to dodge lava and stuff. Now there is no mods, and I never said there was mods. It's just, there will be a TNT flying everywhere, and your job is to try to dodge the TNT from falling. There's a pit down here. As I said before, the uh, there are these things called the four sacrificial pigs and the two butchers. 
Me and Recipior are the two butchers, and there's going to be four pigs who are going to be dropped down here. We're going to break the scaffolding. They'll fall in through here because there's barriers right here. And there's TNT. When they fall down, water will stop their fall so they don't die. They'll activate minecart with TNT. Therefore, when it explodes, it will explode the TNT above it. Therefore, exploding everything else around it and also letting free lava and that's the whole process after that they're just gonna have to dodge the falling tnt when you're placed here or rather falling onto the tnt but uh i mean whatever i say doesn't make sense but rather when you soon find out, it will. That's basically it for cooperating in the event. Just um, make sure you are in the Discord. Make sure you join the event. Make sure you are subscribed. Like this video for good luck. Don't forget to put your IGN in the comments section so that I know what your IGN is and I can just whitelist you. Disclaimer, this volcano is not fully done. I still gotta do the inside of my base and cover this with protective layers, decorate it. I'm also gonna do a few lava pools right there on the flat part. But basically the whole volcano skeleton is already finished and that's all that has to be finished for it to look, look decent. But what mostly matters is the up there in the top with the volcano because that's what the whole event is about when you join the event i'll be waiting for you and you'll be invited to the the group chat and me and recipior we're gonna start a meeting with all of you and then and then a few of you are going to be chosen as i said only four so you can cooperate but the rest you could just watch from the top you could just like be up here, free from all the explosions, and just watch them suffer. Sacrificial pigs are the ones who are starting the volcano eruption. So, uh, let's have good luck. I haven't put in the minecart with TNTs because, of course, I don't want anything activating the volcano yet. Not yet. Basically, I'll see you on the 22nd, and I forgot to mention, as I already said, it's on the 22nd, but it's also on the CST time zone on 1.30 p.m. That's 1.30 p.m. on CST, Central Standard Time Zone. At 1.30 p.m., you will have to be ready on the server, and the event will be taking place, and uh, basically, yeah. And that's in two days. Today is the 20th. On the 22nd, you will, you should be ready for the event. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Make sure you're ready for the event. I hope you enjoyed this video. I suspect that this video was also very helpful for you, considering the fact that it has information that you need to know to cooperate in this event. But um. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video, which is going to be the Volcano Eruption event. And yeah, don't forget to, to subscribe, like, comment, turn on all post notifications to see when my latest videos come out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.